Hello, Kalina here, friends, and welcome to, that was kind of trippy. Welcome, friends, Kalina here <laughs> to, welcome to Story Retold, uh, the channel that celebrates great games with great stories. We are continuing with the Nancy Drew series, Nancy Drew, game number eight, The Haunted Carousel. Thank you for the votes from the last video finale of Creature of Kapu Cave. There were a few games I wanted to play this summer because summer is still here, and I wanted to enjoy some summer-themed Nancy Drew games. So one of the votes was, well, actually one of the popular votes was The Haunted Carousel, and I'm wearing my Captain's Cove Amusement Park t-shirt fit for this game appropriately. And this t-shirt is also available through her interactives Teespring store. So let me get this adjusted a little bit. And I got my copy. And here we go. Let me make sure I got my buttons all set. There it is. Classic, classic sound. Or, <laughs> I love this book stock menu and the music. New game. Welcome to my latest case, The Haunted Carousel. To start playing, choose either junior or senior detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose tutorial. Uh, is the tutorial from this game or from a previous game? Okay. Oh, As previous. always. All right. Uh. Welcome to my latest case, The Haunted yeah, Carousel. To start Tower. playing, choose Dear Ned. Well, here I am at Captain's Cove Amusement Park, about to try to figure out what's behind all the weird things that have been happening here lately. First, a horse just disappeared off the carousel one night. Then, a little later, the carousel started spinning around all by itself in the dead of night, as if it was haunted or something. And then, last week, the roller coaster suddenly stopped in mid-ride for no apparent reason. Nobody was seriously hurt, but the park was shut down until the city knows for sure what caused the accident. I'm here because Paula Santos, the park's owner, is a friend of Dad's. She's putting me up at the Captain's Quarters Hotel, which is next to the park. I'm supposed to head over there right now and meet with a security guard named Harlan Bishop. I hope I don't let Paula down. Wish me luck. Ever yours, Nancy. P.S. There's a rumor going around that the park is cursed. Creepy, huh? So the carousel is haunted, the park is cursed. Oh my goodness, I love this game. Look at the wallpaper and the nautical theme that's going on here. Oh, yes. Sunny boy, sun free tanning. A room service menu. All right. Oh, I wanted to read the soups. Okay, pasta and veggie platter. Served with dinner salad, bread, and your choice of soft drink. Includes penne pasta tossed with sliced mushrooms, artichoke hearts, sun-dried tomatoes, fresh sweet basil, a splash of cream, and topped with Asiago cheese. That sounds really good. I think I would want to make that. Although, I'm not a huge fan of mushrooms, but I'll eat them. Hamburger platter. Oh, come on. It's gotta be a cheeseburger. Accompanied by french fries, dinner salad, and your choice of soft drink. A third pound of fresh ground, all American, 100% pure beef, served, uh, well, I'm glad it's 100% pure beef. I mean, the percentage that they normally would list would be uh, uh, the lean versus fat content. So if you want it really meaty with not very much fat or flavor, 92% pure beef, or, or not pure beef, you wouldn't say that. Served on a toasted sesame seed bun, sesame seed bun with the works and double thick cheese oh so it's a cheeseburger after all double thick cheese hamburger cheeseburger get it right garnished with a dill pickle spear and our homemade mustard sauce swiggables have you never noticed this before swiggables soft drink it's only 65 cents that is so cheap who here, okay, who here remembers getting soda cans from soda can machines for like 25 cents? I remember those days. Well, okay, 25 cents for the uh, generic brand ones that you'd find like at a Walmart or a Fred Meyers, but then it would be like 50 cents for the name brand ones. Uh, milk is only 75 cents, orange juice, cocoa, hot or cold cocoa. That would be hot chocolate or uh, that would be chocolate milk. Coffee is only 60 cents. Nice. They don't serve a Starbucks here. 
Captain's Cove Fun Day. That's pretty pricey, but probably worth it because it's six layers of sheer heaven served with your very own collectible souvenir spoon. That's why it's pricey. Chocolate chip brownie layered with ice cream, banana chunks, nuts, whipped cream, and topped with triple thick hot fudge. And there's Grandma Poseidon's sweet treats. I want to know what those are. Okay, call Kevin... Something service, uh, some pika, uh, Kate, uh, at, for a speedy delivery. Uh, I don't know what that says. I really don't. I can't read it. It's too small. Room service menu. That's probably what this says. Call room service something for a speedy delivery. Hmm. I want to read what the rest of this has to say. Hotel operator, what do you want? Are you the regular operator? I'm filling in for my cousin Amber. She took the week off on account of the amusement park being shut down. You don't want an outside line, do you? Actually, I have a cell phone. Good, use it. An outside line will cost you an arm and a leg. Besides, I'm not sure how to get you one. So, Miss Aaron, what do you want? Uh, that's Drew, Nancy Drew. Sorry, my cousin's handwriting reeks. So, what do you want, Miss Drew? Ooh. I'd like to order a fun day, please. No can do. We're out of ice cream. Should be getting more in any minute. I'd like to order the hamburger platter with milk instead of a soft drink. One hamburger platter with moo juice. It'll be there in a few. Anything else? That's it. Thanks a lot. Don't mention it. So this game was pretty special. Uh, this was the first Nancy Drew game where the player gets, as Nancy gets to eat or order food for the self. And this was the first game with a cell phone for Nancy. Ooh, okay, that's not a toasted sesame bun. Where's my dill pickle spear? Not there, ah, details. Nice glass of milk though. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> Lovely. All right, let's check out our laptop. Journal. Okay. A friend of my father's, Paulo Santos, wants me to figure out what's behind all the strange things that's been happening at her amusement park in Captain's Cove, New Jersey. Things to do. Check in with Paulo Santos. Number is in the cell phone directory. <laughs> check out the carousel. Head over to the park and look for that security guard. Welcome, Nancy's. Uh, thank you for your subscription to Sassy Detective Online, the electronic tip service for the modern detective. Check your inbox often. Tips will be arriving almost as fast as you can read them. Subscription department, Sassy Detective Online. Okay, uh, no outgoing mail service. Dear valued customer, outgoing mail service has been temporarily halted. We expect to have service restored within 20 four underscore hours. In the meantime, you will be able to receive but not send email communications. We at Megadata sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. So this wasn't really a, this isn't really an, a thing these days to not have, uh oh, my light went out, to not have outgoing mail, but you can receive mail. This is just a way of uh, not allowing the player to have any reason to email out because that was a huge programming feat to make that happen. And it wasn't really worth it in necessary to the mystery. Maritime flag match. Line up three flags in a row or call them. Oh boy. Okay. Three in a row. Here we go. This, I don't remember if this was of any point <laughs> in this game. Oh my goodness. There's like just a lot a lot to look at here and I know you get more points for large lengthier connections I'm not seeing anything oh here we go oi 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 it is a fun game though it really is here we go. Four. N for November. That's what that was. Oh, okay. Oh. L for Lima. 
I never noticed that before over here. Cool. We got E for Echo. So I guess this kind of teaches um, the letter maritime letters are for Romeo. O for Oscar. F for Foxtrot. B for Bravo. Oh, that doesn't match. <laughs> What's this one? J for Juliet. Q for Quebec. Lima, yeah. Yankee, Y for Yankee. U for uniform. Y U as in uniform, okay. Whiskey. Oh dear, I think ESRB would have an issue with that if that was in here. Of course, the times changed with ESRB over the years. Nowadays, if it's just a sheer mention of an adult beverage would merit it a thought to be rated T for teen. Uh, we've got 32 seconds left. Okay, so this is just based on time. It's how many points can you get in the time allotted. Huh. X-ray. Yankee. Um. Ooh, here's a fiver. Papa. <laughs> Bravo. Hotel. Do, 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 do. Echo. Nice. Wait, I get more time? When do I... Oh, my goal is to get that much point? That, that many points? Oh my goodness. Okay. Sure. This is gonna take forever. Okay, okay. Well, let's see how soon we can get to that then. Kilo. Sierra. All right, we're steadily climbing up the points ladder. Get more points if we have like four or more in a row. So that really does help. Be on the, on the lookout for that. We're almost there. I for India. Um, okay. <laughs> Here I am just goofing off on my laptop in my hotel room while Paula Santos is probably waiting to hear if I arrived. Yay, we won. Does it go here? I guess, okay. All right, we should uh, call, oh, phony, as in fake Sony brand. Ooh, my floral suitcase. Captain's Cove, nothing in New Jersey beats Captain's Cove Amusement Park. For seaside fun and entertainment. Rolf Kessler. Oh, okay. Carousel created by famed wood carver Rolf Kessler, 1914. It's an experience that borders on eerie. For more information, call that number. Can we do that? 
I don't remember how many phone numbers we can call. Let me write this down. 609-555-9704. How many of you guys take handwritten notes? Demons of the Deep Haunted House, Tidal Terror Roller Coaster, Midway Games, get your fun pals! My old... What is this, a blanket? Does Nancy just care? Oh, it could be a cardigan or a sweater or something. What does she keep in her other bag? I wonder. <gasps> the Hardy Boys. Home, best, Palo Santos. Um, what if we dial 1609-555-9704? It's the Captain's Cove number. We're sorry. You're calling. Nah. All right, all right, all right. Let's call Paula Santos. Paula Santos? Hello, Miss Santos. It's Nancy Drew. Hello. Have you been out to the park? No, not yet. I thought I'd check in with you first. You're all set. I told the guard at the main gate to keep an eye out for you. His name's Harlan Bishop. All the rides are shut down except for the carousel. I thought you might need to see it in action, but please take a good look at the roller coaster, even if you can't ride it. What did the police find when they looked at it? They looked around for five minutes, then left. Said as long as the insurance company was going to investigate, why should they? So I can get into the park through the main gate? Harlan will be watching for you. Oh, and from now on, call me Paula. All right. Goodbye, Paula. Okay, we should totally call... Well, we should call all the Hardys. Oh, let's call home, see what happens. Hi. No one can take your call right now except Togo. And since he's forbidden to answer the phone because he gets slobber all over it, I'm afraid you're going to have to leave a message. Oh, no message for Hannah? Okay. We'll have a very short phone call with Bess. Our good friends. Hello? Hey, Bess. It's Nancy. Oh, hey, Nancy. Whoa, you were obviously hoping I was someone else. Well, kinda. Okay, so who is he and where'd you meet him? Oh, Nancy, his name's Matt, and he is so cute. <laughs> he works the concession stand at the movie theater in the mall. A cute guy with an endless supply of gummy bears and butter flavoring. Right at his fingertips. We're talking major crush. Hey, George, good. You're there, too. Barely. I almost got caught standing between Bess and the phone just now. When it rings, she's like a one-woman cattle stampede. Do you have time to talk? I mean, I don't want to mess up this Matt thing. Of course we have time to talk. I'm dying to hear what's going on. Besides, if Matt tries to call me and gets a busy signal, that's a good thing. He'll think I'm popular. Fill us in, Nance, quick, <laughs> before Bess's logic starts getting really twisted and I get nauseous. <laughs> I just thought I'd call you guys before I headed over to the park. You have an entire amusement park all to yourself, and you haven't even been over there yet? Good grief, Nancy. What kind of teenager are you? I'm a good friend, that's what. I was calling you guys, just... Oh. All the horses on the carousel that supposedly haunted were carved by a man named Rolf Kessler. Either of you ever heard of him? Carousels aren't exactly my thing anymore. Mine neither. Yeah. Catch you guys later. We'll be right here. Toodles. Oh dear, don't say toodles. I have a toddler who watches Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. So, is this the bathroom? And I don't know what this is. Closet? Like this door. It doesn't ever show. I can iron the ironing board. The young lady who just entered. Hello, Yoo-hoo! The whale is waiting. Did it not turn off? I guess it did. Okay. Okay. I thought the hotel was gonna burn down because I was trying to get that second chance. Look at the security camera. It's not pointed at me. Hello. This is Paula Santos. I'm standing outside what's left of the captain's quarters hotel. What happened? Well, according to the fire marshal, someone left an iron on in your room and burned the place down. Oh no, I forgot to turn it off. When I asked you to come out here, I expected to pay for your room, not the entire hotel. <laughs> Consider yourself off the case. Okay. Was it off? 
Where's it on? I need to turn the iron on. Oh, okay, it's off. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Okay, cool, cool. I just wanted to see it. Well, the young lady who just... Hello? Yoo-hoo! The whale... Still waiting. The whale is getting impatient. Still waiting. Hello? Yoo-hoo! The whale is waiting. Well, from the way you just marched <laughs> right on in here past all those sorry we're closed signs, you're either who I think you are or you're one determined gatecrasher. If you think I'm Nancy Drew, you're right. That's a relief. It's too early in the day to go sick in the cops on anybody. I'm Harlan Bishop. Are you the only security guard on duty now? I begged Miss Santos to keep me on while the park's closed, even agreed to a pay cut. You must really like your job. I've only worked here for a couple of weeks. I figured staying on while the park was closed would help me get up to speed on all the equipment and such. Where did you work before you came here? Oh, I worked in a store, department store, you know, as a security guard in Flemington, not around here. So is this your first encounter with a haunted amusement park ride? Somebody swiped a horse off a carousel and now it's malfunctioning. The police don't think it's that big a deal, and frankly, neither do I. What about the roller coaster? Accidents happen. Of course, Ingrid will tell you that these so-called accidents are really the result of the park's karma getting bent out of shape by negative energy or some such gobbledygook. Gobbledygook. Who's Ingrid? Ingrid Corey. You'll probably meet her. She's working during the shutdown, too. She's the park's chief engineer. Believes in all this wacky, new-age, psychobiogenic stuff. Like if you eat food served by a waiter who's in a bad mood, you'll get scurvy or something. Where can I find her? First things first. You won't be meeting her or Elliot Chen, the park's art director, until after you go see the park's bookkeeper, Joy Trent. Miss Santos's orders. Joy pays all the bills so she knows pretty much everything that's going on. Plus, she'll mm -hmm. give you an access card. Miss Santos wants you to have the run of the place. That is true. The person who pays the bills at the companies or businesses are often people who know a lot about what's going on in the company. They have interesting information. That would certainly help. Wait, hang on. I know Joy won't give you one of these, so I will. Here you go. It's a Captain's Cove fun card. Let's you ride the rides and play the games on the midway. I got it. I got it. By the way, you guys, this, this is actually a printout directly from th that, that, that fun pass. So I pulled this art. When I worked at Her Interactive, I pulled the art out and I slapped on our Her Interactive logo and uh, also flipped the image around so that it would work with the text. This you can download for free. If you go to Her Interactive's website, shop games, click on the haunted carousel, Scroll all the way down to the Downloads tab. You can print this out on cardstock, and it's two-sided, so what you do is print it out on cardstock. It's better that way. Uh, uh, fold the paper in half first, then cut it. So that way you've got a perfect um, fold line right here, so that when you cut it and you glue it together like this, it it works um, but you can also hole punch it right here and slip a string and I might just do that so you can like wear it around your neck or on your lanyard or whatever but it's really cool it's one of my little homemade souvenirs that's just so fun come back to me if you burn through that one and need another am I not supposed to have this well see joy's just kind of joy less it had never occurred to her that you might want to have some fun while you're here of course she's a newbie too like me Maybe she'll come around. Anyway, here's a map of the park. I put an X where Joy's office is. Can't really see that there. I see you have a security camera trained on the carousel. Does that mean you got the theft of that carousel horse on tape? We didn't start monitoring the carousel until after the theft. Oh. But we do have one of those so-called hauntings on tape. Want to see it? That'd be great. I got the tape right here all queued up. I played it for the police. So like proud. I said before. They weren't real impressed. Hmm. There's no sound, on the tape at least. The band organ started up when the carousel did. Stayed on for about 30 seconds, then stopped. That is an impressive animation, though. 
Did you notice that burst of static just before the carousel started to turn? Probably just a glitch in the tape. We use them over and over. Have you tried to prove your screwed up wiring theory? I ain't no cop. But now that you're here, maybe you can prove it for me. I'll see you around. Knock him dead. All right, fun fact, you guys. Harlan's voice actor. Harlan, Harlan Bishop here is voiced by the actor Jonah Von Spreeken. I got to meet him. Uh, Jonah Von Spreeken has done so many voices for the characters, including the future Frank Hardy for many Nancy Drew games. Please keep all personal belongings in your locker. Nancy Drew visits today. Give fun pass. Map of park. Send to Joy. Coffee. Something. I don't know what that says. An anchor. Captain's Cove Police Department. The phone number for the police. That might come in handy. Do I have to write that down or will Nancy write that down? I guess if it's important, it'll add be added to her directory, right? 7422. Oh, first aid kit. Um, all the necessary things. Eric Harlan Chuck. I can't look at the others. <gasps> oh, these have been tagged. Breaker box. Danger, high voltage. No smoking. I want to know what's in the cabinet. Probably just binders of logs. All right. Great. Using my map now, I probably need to go to Joy. Yeah. That's where I need to go first. Okay. I remember seeing some concept art illustrations for this map. There were a few other things on it, but you know, the games only needed so many, so many locations, uh, you know, budget wise. You can't have all of them. You can't have the Ferris or the America round or Ferris, Ferris wheel. Excuse me. I think this might've been a location at one point, unless it is. I wonder who these kids are. Little Curry? Curry? Play Pond. Gurry. Lil Gurry. Okay. Guppy. Guppy. <laughs> I can't read. Lil Guppy Play Pond. Ahoy, Medis, employees only. Security strictly enforced by letters walk the plank. Let's just, you know. <gasps> Sheldon Russo's Galaxy Ballroom. Nice. Captain's Cove, New Jersey. Okay, so when I think of Galaxy Ballroom, I think of, like, Disneyland's The Haunted Mansion Ballroom. Ghostly things, you know. The world's greatest beachfront ballroom. Dances, concerts, featuring conductor Shaw Bids and the Nouveau Jersey Shore Orchestra. Nice. This is a dark office. The Carousel, Sheldon Russo's Galaxy Ballroom and Carousel, Captain's Cove, New Jersey. Very pretty. The original Galaxy Ballroom, nice. The haunted house used to be a ballroom. How's that for irony? Okay, yeah, that's great. <gasps> cool. A victim of coaster accident files million dollar lawsuit against Park. Monica Clark is the writer for all of these incidences, huh? Uh, a salesperson at Mady's pre-owned car company was a passenger on the Tidal Terror roller coaster when it suddenly lost power, slid backwards, and stopped. He claims that the sudden stop caused his head to snap backwards, then forwards, and then this whiplash effect, causing severe trauma to soft tissue in his neck. The lawsuit used compensation for medical costs, pain and suffering, and emotional distress. No injuries. Or... Woke up, I couldn't move. Pain was so bad. It's still bad. Doctor said I'm wearing my neck brace for the rest of my life. I just want what's fair. The cause of the accident still not to be determined. Um, hang on. Lance Huffington is 37, is suing Captain's Car Captain's Cove Amusement Park for one million dollars as a result of neck injuries. Oh, okay. Lance Huffington is a salesperson at Mady's pre-owned car company. Okay. 
Lance Huffington. That's a name. Ooh, blast off in the night rocket. Only at Captain's Cove Amusement Park. Look at this old school. Old school uh, space style. This is so hmm, funny. Maybe I should give Detective Paris a call. Mike DeSalle. Wait a minute. Holds the jewelry he found hidden in the padding, t padding of the orbiter. According to Detective KJ Paris on the right, more hidden valuables could turn up in the park. Okay, hang on. 1983, that explains the mullet. <laughs> um, hidden jewels? Maybe that's what whoever stole that carousel horse was after. Jewels from that heist. I felt something sharp when I strapped in. 19-year-old DeSalle. By the time the ride was over, I thought for sure whatever it was had totally stuck itself into my shoulder. Someone placed rocks in the padding. Which, which, um... He found, oh wow, jewelry. He turned it over to the police. It had been among the items stolen from a thief who broke into the safe at the Captain's Quarters Hotel three years ago. Oh. The man suspected of the theft is currently serving time in the state penitentiary for an unrelated crime. None of the stolen items have ever been found until yesterday. The man in charge. KJ Perez. The thief stashed jewelry in various places throughout the park so he could return to it for days, months, even years later. DeSalle received a $2,000 reward from an insurance company from the Captain's Quarters Hotel. The Orbiter. Oh, okay, so whatever the Orbiter ride was. Oh, it looks like this ride, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one of those rides, I remember. Okay, so the people will strap in, it looks like a giant, one of those, uh, casino games, uh, but you, as a person, you uh, lean up against, you stand up leaning up against the padded like dang <laughs> and it spins and so you're thrust up against the back and you just spin in circles so the pressure up against his shoulder is what he felt in the padding interesting so fun fact this guy is uh was one of the programmers he was in the production team for her interactive i don't know about this guy because he wasn't there when i worked there but this was mark templin yeah Okay, that was a bit of a, a detour. Hello. Are you Nancy? Yes, I am. You're Joy? Joy Trent. Sorry about the mess. So, I'm supposed to give you an access card. No hurry. If you're in the middle of something, please go ahead and finish up. That's okay. I just assume get this little farce over. What do you mean? You're only here because it makes it look like Paula Santos had nothing to do with any of this curse garbage. Are you saying she did have something to do with it? I've seen how Paula runs the park. All she wants is to get more and more people through that gate. Well... And what better way to do that than with a carousel that's allegedly haunted? Uh, but if the place is closed, you're not making any money. But why would she sabotage the roller coaster? She can't make any money with a park shut down. Exactly. She probably just didn't know the park would be shut down. Have you ever confronted Ms. Santos with your suspicions? Of course not. I don't want to get fired. Besides, nobody's been hurt. Except that glorified con artist who claims his neck got injured, Lance Huffington. And the truth is, Paula offered me this job because she knew I needed the money. And I'm not entirely ungrateful. My father died recently. Mm -hmm. His estate is in bankruptcy. He used to be co-owner of the park. Two years ago, he suffered a huge financial setback, and he had to sell his share to Paula. When he died two months ago, he was flat broke. Paula could have bailed him out, but she didn't. Frankly, I think the reason she hired me was guilt. Be that as it may, I'd still like to talk to some of the other employees. Of course. But before I forget, here's your access card. That should get you into all the private areas of yes. the park. But if you run into problems, don't come to me. Ask the chief engineer, Ingrid Corey. Her office is by the haunted house. The only other people in the park right now are Harlan Bishop and the art director, Elliot Chin. His studio is right by the treasure chest souvenir shop. But try not to bug him. 
Does he not like to be disturbed? He's behind in his work and needs to catch up. Ms. Santos has been getting on my case about it. Well, I think you have everything, so if you'll excuse me? Oh, right. Uh, thanks for all your help. Uh, sorry if I disturbed you. Yeah. Okay if I peek in here? Go ahead and look around. Excuse all the clutter. I'm still trying to get this place organized. Here's why I like Joy. She gives me access cards and permission to snoop through stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes! Oh, hmm. Looks like stenography. It's a memo about one of the carousel horses being sold. I wonder which horse. Interesting. Can I look at anything else in here? Oh, I'm just gonna take the paper. Okay. Have you noticed that the texture for this blanket is the same kind of texture on her, uh, her shirt? Okay, so we needed to talk to Ingrid. Oh, look at the dolphin hedge. How cute. <gasps> this is so cool. Oh, the teacup ride. One of the roller coaster sharks. How do you get in? Oh, I guess you have to. Oh, and like a, yes. Okay, okay, comment. Please comment below. What were your favorite rides at amusement parks? If you've been to amusement park before, what were your favorite rides? My, one of my favorite ones was the Scrambler, uh, which goes by a few different names. It kind of, you know, it, it spins around here and then it spins around all the way around like this. And it was just really cool. I, yeah, I'm not describing it very well. <laughs> Look at the blueprints, flowers. I want to know who this is. Ooh. Porcinian, speed, power, safety, comfort, beauty, all available under one hood, even though the hood is down. Pandora 2XS, hybrid, open it up. I think I remember seeing the art files for this and someone merged two types of cars together so that it would appear as a generic car that didn't actually exist. I want to be on the computer. I want to see what's on there. Mind view. Uh, I believe that's mine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is a nice big room. Looking for someone? If you're Ingrid Corey, not anymore. That's me. Ordinarily, I don't do the hands-on work, and I'd be able to shake your hand, Ms. My name's Nancy Drew. Ms. Santos asked me to do an informal investigation of the roller coaster accident, and uh, why are you looking at me like that? You've got B3 issues. I have issues, I know, but what? <laughs> I do? Vitamin B3, niacin. The vibe you're giving off tells me you're low. Nothing that some natural peanut butter on a slice of whole wheat bread once a day won't fix. Okay. I mean, peanut butter and bread is good. I like that. Thanks for the advice. How long have you worked here? A little less than two years. I started out in maintenance and worked my way up. I've held the supervisory position for the last 10 months. I think I need to make a picture of that now. Whole wheat bread with peanut butter on it and caption it niacin for my B3 issues. Miss Santos asked me to figure out why weird things have been happening around here lately. What's to figure out? Someone stole a horse off the carousel and now the park is cursed. Why would someone steal a carousel horse? Money. I hear they can be very valuable. Could I see the blueprints of the roller coaster so you can show me exactly where on the track it stopped? I've looked all over for those blueprints and can't find them anywhere. I'm sure one of the other engineers knows where they are, but I'm afraid I don't. Sorry. How well do you know Harlan Bishop? I know he's an ex-bouncer from Trenton. I also know it drives him nuts that this is one of the few places in the park he doesn't have a key for. Do you mind having to work during the shutdown? Not a bit. Keeping those card readers functioning is practically a full-time job all by itself. Plus, I happen to adore my job. Thanks for your help. No big deal. No big deal. Look at the detail in this room. What is this machine? I don't even know, but it's so cool. Oh, I love these kind of cabinets. These file drawers. Oh, I love this. All these details. This is so great. That looks like a lathe, too. 
Is that a lathe? Or is that a print machine of some sort? So many details. This is what makes the game so rich. It's so believable in this room. Quack. Quake? <laughs> No to hot dogs, soda, and fries. Yes to good food. <laughs> okay. Um, what is this? A swordfish head? Kind of looks like it. Or a narwhal head? It looks like it's cut off. <laughs> Hang on, I'll be right with you. Take your time. <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. Out. And do not come back unless and until Joy Trent calls me. Okay? Okay. I've been kicked out. Well. Dear, oh dear. Uh, so I need to talk to Joy, huh? Hmm. Well, I guess I could talk to Joy, but I also kind of want to go over here. Look at this. What is this room? This over here, it kind of looks like the bumper cars area. Ah, uh, I like the games. I, the games are always so expensive at the actual... Oh, I want to put... Oh, I thought it was basketball or something. Uh-oh. Looks like it's out of order. Yeah. Okay. Prizes! Okay. I gotta get all these prizes. I do. I do, I do, I do. Win! Swimmer! Swimmer's Itch! Okay, Swimmer's Itch is right here, too. Squid Toss. If I play this game, I can win an anchor. Nothing like a game of Squid Toss, is there? You have four fun credits left on your card. Catapult the squid through the hoop. Okay, okay. Aim. Power. Shrimp. Launch. Yay! Far right, what is it? Trout? Or dolphin? Let's do dolphin. Oh, too far right. Oh, no. Ah, oh, I lost. I have to enter it again. Okay. Lucky you! You're about to play Squid Toss! By the way, you have three fun credits left on your card. Catapult the squid through the hoop. Alright, the first one was shrimp and one notch over. Okay, I think I had the right amount of power with a dolphin, but only one notch to the right. There we go. Okay, that one's up high, so let's go with whale. Yay! Yay! Oh, look at that token! You know how fun that would be to have that? Since there are holes punched through it, you could easily turn that into a necklace of some sort. How cool would that be? Ah, oh, I'm getting ideas. Yes, I'm getting ideas. I am, I am, I am. All right, uh, swimmer's itch. Wait, can I get a prize right now? No, the one that only takes anchors, okay. Let's play swimmer itch. You have two fun credits left on your card. Your mission is to get the swimmer to the beach. Okay. I love slider puzzles. I do, I do, I love slider puzzles. Sorry, I didn't mean to peek in the audio here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Yep, avoid Cad the Cadborosaurus <laughs> sea monster. Oil spills and toxic things. Keep an eye out to get it done before this. Okay, here we go. Medium. Yay! Oh boy, I like this. Um, there we go. Okay, how many of these seahorse tokens do I need to win all the prizes? Um, one. Just 
just one, huh? Okay, we're gonna need two mermaids. Mermaid, mermaid, one, sh two shells, two shells, two mermaids, and one of each of those. So we only got one of each, okay. Well, let's go ahead. Do we select the prize? Okay, and then insert tiger. Yay, one of these things. Fun. Hmm. Pop. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, hey, where's the mermaid one? How do I get a mermaid token? Oh, oh, there's two levels right here. Uh, well, okay, Barnacle Blast is going to take a lot of our time. Okay, let's go talk to Joy. Wait, we needed to call KJ Paris, right? Yeah, let's do it. Captain's Cove Police Station. Detective Paris, please. Hang on. This is KJ. My name is Nancy Drew. I'd like to ask you some questions about a jewel heist, an old jewel heist. The one where the safe at the Captain's Quarters Hotel was broken into? Oh, you are going back a ways. You a reporter or something? I'm trying to help Paula Santos figure out why so many weird things have been happening lately at her amusement park. Oh, yeah? So what do you need? Just so happens Paula Santos is a good friend of mine. Aww. Since everything seems to have started with the theft of that carousel horse, I'm wondering if maybe it was stolen because there were jewels from that heist hidden inside it. Hmm. Never occurred to me, but it's possible, I suppose. The thief's name was Chaz Dunning. He died in prison about a year ago. Aww. I'll tell you what. I'll make some calls, try to see if there was somebody he confided in before he died. Somebody who was recently released. Hmm. Again, my name is Nancy Drew, and you can reach me on my cell phone anytime. The number is 523-555-4399. Well, as soon as I know something, you'll know something. Thanks, Detective Paris. It was great talking to you. Ditto. Fun fact, Nancy Drew's uh, last four digits of her phone number... Four, four, three, nine, nine. If you look, oh wait a minute, that's her cell phone number. Four, three, nine, nine. Does it spell something? Maybe it doesn't. But her house phone number is like three, seven, three, nine. That was her house phone number, and it spells Drew for the Drew household. But I don't know if it spells anything here, because it looks like H, H, E, H, E, Y, W, Y, Q, it doesn't make any sense. Um, Q, E, I don't know. Yep. Yeah, I don't know why that number was chosen. Okay, directory, Captain's Cove, Hardy Boys. Yeah, let's call the Hardy Boys. For fun. Hello? Hey, Frank, it's Nancy. Hey, Joe, pick up. Actually, he may not want to talk to you. Why not? Because you get to solve a mystery at an amusement park. He's so jealous he could spit. Hi, this is Joe. Hey, Joe, it's Nancy. I don't want to talk to you. What did I tell you? Oh, I'm just kidding. Pardon me for a second, I gotta go spit. <laughs> fooling around, Joe. <laughs> She's calling long distance, remember? Sorry. So what's going on? Do you guys know much about remote control devices? I had a toy car that used one, until Frank broke it. Ancient history, Joe. Let it go. Brothers. Why do you ask? When I saw a tape of the carousel going around by itself, there was a very brief burst of static just before the carousel started up. Electrical interference, consistent with someone using a remote control device. If that's the case, there has to be some kind of electronic device that transmits as well as receives near or maybe even attached to the carousel. I haven't checked out the carousel's machinery yet. Make sure you look hard when you do, Nancy. The device is probably pretty small. Apparently, one of the people who was on the roller coaster when it suddenly stopped is claiming that his neck got injured and has filed a lawsuit. Well, boys and girls, can you say insurance fraud? What if someone is making up a false claim? What if that was his plan all along? And what if someone in the park is in on the scheme with him? That person causes the accident, the guy sues, they split the settlement. New word, boys and girls. Can you say motive? <laughs> I better get going. Call us anytime. Take care. Awesome. There's so much fun. Oh. 
Oh, wow. Who are you and what are you doing? Who said that? I said that over here on top of the cabinet. Keep going over here. Please identify yourself. Well, uh, my name is Nancy Drew. Digital representations of your voice and image have been entered into my memory circuits, Nancy Drew. Same voice actor for Harlan Bishop did the voice here of this. What are you, some kind of security system? I am Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. I receive and process video and audio input and make appropriate pre-programmed verbal responses. What's a magnificent memory machine? It is my turn to ask a question. Nancy Drew, why are you here when Joy is not? Elliot Chen is kind of upset with me. I need to write her a note to call him. There is a pad for leaving messages on the desk. So who programmed you? Responding to the non-Joy entity is an unnecessary drain on my power units and is heretofore disallowed. What does that mean? Hello? Miles? I guess it means he's not going to talk to me anymore. Hmm. Okay. Snoop, snoop. Oh, these books. Okay, we'll just... Leave. I can use this to leave a note for Joy to call Elliot. That's a picture of Gruff Stuff Stationery. That is a faded picture of the image used from the previous game, uh, Ghost Dogs in Moon Lake. Please call Elliot. Thanks, Nancy Drew. Hmm, looks like Joy's a pencil chewer. <laughs> okay, actually, you know what, you guys? This is a perfect time. Um, let's see. Who do I go to next? I go to the coaster. Ooh. Let's explore the coaster. Which, with this, right? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's... I wonder what the deal is with this red tag. I can't open the door. Oh boy. Called service to upgrade for card reader. Below is a schematic for the circuit. As it currently stands, the res resistors are in parallel. Waiting for delivery of macro resistor. I split the current to allow easy soldering of macro resistor once it comes in. Nick. Pearlmeister called and said that the total resistance for the upgrade has to be 15 ohms. They said the macro resistor will give 5 ohms of resistance. So whoever's hooking up the thing should hook the resistors in series. Nick. Ah. It needs another part. I can't turn it on. Circuit boards. So cool. All right, all right. It's locked. It's locked. All right, actually, you know what? This is an excellent time to take a break and stay tuned for the next video in the series. But in the meantime, please comment below and tell me about your amusement park experiences, what your favorite rides are, what is it that you like about amusement parks the best. And I will see you in the next video.